at a loss for what to do for our video this week. Uh, so we thought we'd show you a typical California morning. Um, In the summertime when we have nothing to do. Yeah. So we've been starting our day having fruit and yogurt. Very healthy inside of the pool. Uh, usually it's a lot nicer than this, but it's quite a cloudy day. day. Uh, I'm sure the sun will be out later and uh, later on in the video I'll probably be in there having a beer. Okay, so we're reversing outside of Christina's house. And getting ready to leave for the day. So we'll drive through the neighborhood a little bit. And I keep telling Martin that the neighborhood lo usually looks much nicer and greener, but it's a drought and everyone's making their lawns turn brown because they can't water them. And Martin has been amazed at the things people do to save water here. Like, what, like, my mom puts um, a bucket in her shower so that while the water's heating up, she can catch all the water that goes out and then water her garden with it, <laughs> or things like that. Okay, as you can see, it's quite a grey day today. Uh, and then if you look at our air conditioning unit, this is the first time that it's ever been above the coldest setting. American flag there, go America. <laughs> There's lots of American flags. In fact, the competition is how many have you spotted on this journey? It'll be more than 10. Okay, so we are, well I guess it's about an hour later and we're on the road heading to the beach. You can see the sun has come out, so no more cloudy skies. Um, Alright, uh, you can see that it's getting warmer because the air conditioning is now up at maximum air conditioning. Okay, so we figured that um, just so you can see what the route to the beach is like, um, we'll just keep the camera running and um, that's all. Yeah. We'll speed it up though, so if you think I'm going too fast, it's just because the camera has, uh, has, has been speeded up. for me to put on my SPF 70 sunscreen so I don't fry. <laughs> Thankfully, it seems to work. Yeah. <laughs> There's Laguna Beach. just brought us a little pamphlet about what you might see in the tide pools today. So you can see the tide pools just behind us and it looks like you can find hermit crabs and barnacles, sea anemones, mussels, crabs, and maybe some sculpin. So maybe we'll have a look and see what we see. Yeah, we just saw that there's a hard to find, there's levels, easy to find level one, two, three, and hard to find level four, five, six where you could possibly see brittle stars, octopus, sea urchins, sea hairs, all sorts of things. Let's go see if we can find an octopus. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you look closely, you'll see that uh, this tide pool is filled with crabs and there are shore crabs. Um, and there's also a little tiny fish in there too, which, looking at the thing, I think it might be sculpin. No, no, sculpin are big. No, but what are these small fish? I don't know. Do you Maybe. think they're an opali? 
I don't know. So there's small things. You can film it. Yeah, oh, there's, they're chasing each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's also a rock close just climbing up the, the top of the rock there. He stopped. And he's a he's a easy to find level two. I don't know if you can see in this little hole here, but there are sea anemones in there. Although they're mostly closed up and covered in seashells, so they're a bit difficult. Um, but there are lots of little holes around here where the tide is coming in, and lots of little critters to see. Okay, so. He we missed the last uh, part of searching in the tide pools because our camera ran out of uh, memory. So we're now back uh, at Christina's house, so we're in her tide pool and uh, just looking to see what we might find in here. <laughs> oh, I've got something. Oh, double nut brown. <laughs> I think that's the end of our video for the week. I think I'm going to go and enjoy this and we'll hopefully have another video for you next week. Bye!